Uh, the article uh, that I had uh, came across in the in Sydney Morning Herald, how cost of living pressures made the poly employment trend explode. Yes, if you needed another word to add to your vocab, uh, let me introduce you to poly employment. More Australian hospitality workers are taking up multiple jobs than ever, with many looking to quit for better paying gigs to cope with cost of living pressures as cafe and restaurant owners contend with mounting operator costs, so says Jessica Yun. Uh, to speak with uh, great expertise about this, Sue Elson, career expert. Good afternoon, Sue. Hi, Tony. So, is any other factor driving it apart from the insane inflation we've experienced over the last couple of years? <laughs> yes, well, obviously, a lot of people are suffering with the cost of living, but also there's been a huge shift in, in that area of hospitality where a lot of people are not spending their money on travel, luxury goods, furniture, and so on. They're actually not going into the city, so they're spending more of their money in the local area. So they might say, look, I can afford to go out for coffee, maybe not dinner, but I can at least do something fun. And they're spending that. And you know, another really interesting statistic is people are spending less on things like bars, gyms, even animal health. Mm. And someone I know said that the number of animal adoptions is going down and the number of animal surrenders is going up. So, you know, people are trying to cut costs wherever they can, and so even animals are, are facing issues there too. That's a, an interesting economic barometer that I'd never heard of, the animal surrender. I'm, I'm not making fun of it, but that's there's no. always these, there are all these subtle signs of economic distress, and I guess that's one of them. If you're running mm. a cafe, you've had a brutal couple of years. Um, mm. Does this compound the problems? It was referenced in the article, but it's hard enough to run a cafe if you don't have the staff to do it. Um, what do you say to yeah. people struggling to keep good staff? Well, the people in the hospitality industry are the ones most likely to have multiple jobs. But interestingly, there's some data from SEEK that says if you put the salary rate down on any job advertisement, you're likely to get a 34% increase in applications. And one of the sectors of people who are not doing as much of a poly work is the older generation. So I imagine if you put those two things together and you advertise locally for some people who just want to get out of the house and have some communication, you could actually get some affordable workers who live close by who may actually be able to help you out and get you through that time and be socially engaged with their community. So I think there's a way around these things as well. It, how does it affect um, people starting out in their job careers? Um, um, wife and I have a 17-year-old. He's at McDonald's. Mm. but mm. Um, uh, So he's not going to the city for that. He's, he's doing it locally. Yeah. Uh, but mm. I know it was referenced, that phenomenon was referenced in the article, but are we seeing people entering the job markets with two jobs rather than one? Well, the actual number of people having more than one job is at its highest level since records started in 1994 at 6.7%. Now, interestingly, what your son's doing is a very traditional way of going yeah. into a fast food restaurant and getting the training and so on. But what the stats are also showing is that more of these young people are going into cafes and you know other places like that. So people are now actually spending more on food that's prepared for them. And that's an interesting trend. So if they're not going travelling and spending in, in that area, they're going in these others. So a lot of those are coming in that. And the other thing that I think that they're called the alpha generation, the latest one coming through, is they're going to have the cost of their studies, they're going to have the cost of buying a new home, getting a car, all those sorts of things. So if they're really keen to get ahead in life and start saving from day one, they're probably going to have to have multiple jobs to even be able to afford that. And interestingly, they're still getting those social skills, which is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I imagine more of those young people will be doing more of those sort of hospitality type jobs locally, but they could also consider where there's a skills shortage. Now, healthcare is desperately short of people, um, nursing, education. Um, so if they also, community services, if they consider some of those roles, they might actually be able to get some additional experience in those areas as well. Great work, Sue. Thank you for that. Sue Elson, career expert. Uh, one double three six nine three. If you're working two jobs, tell us why. Tell us how it's working for you. Uh, on the line.